people and of knowledge and information that creates the identity of our data. So I was very much interested to have like a lot of works that would also tend into that direction. This is a work by Rankin or Armistice. He was here during the opening. And actually, this piece got created by all the visitors of the opening. So his uh, gig is called the Crochet Jam. He invites people from different communities to do crochet jams. Uh, of course, you wouldn't expect that maybe from a male artist. I think he plays also a lot with sex and gender identities and the expectations that we have. And there are like still an awful lot of uh, male painters who have quite who, who put a quite a macho attitude uh, towards their work and towards uh, the art scene. And I think he does something completely different. So he offers these crochet jams. He organizes them. He links them to a certain community. And he teaches the crochet jam. So he showed everyone with a lot of patience how to use the crochet needle to actually make all these beautiful ribbons and knot them together eventually. Uh, people were also asked to bring along old fabrics. So it's like we use fabrics. So most of those fabrics had been worn on someone's body for some time, and then all of a sudden they were thrown away or they were not longer used and so they were donated for this crochet jam and it's quite beautiful like how all these individual identities maybe even uh, body identities are interwoven into one piece of art I think it's almost the cliche of community art he plays very much also with that on one hand he hangs them on the, on the wall like uh, like artworks, but on the other hand, it's almost like the illustration of a successful community get together, and maybe it's also there's a certain sense of irony as well that reflects maybe the impossibility of the, the perfect community that threads something together that is beautiful to look at and that makes sense out of the individual position into one object, into one art object. I think it works pretty well in here. We have this table, which is also an icon of a, a very small community. At least uh, it shows a little bit what the idea is. I think they would look completely different if you put them in the gallery, and if you would treat them as real art, because of course they are real art, but I think the relational aesthetics that created those objects is very important. 